Hello everyone. So today we'll be talking about complex numbers and in complex numbers, we'll be talking about the imaginary unit I. We'll also learn how to find square roots of negative numbers. Um, second, we'll be learning about the equality of two complex numbers. And lastly, for operations with complex numbers, we'll touch upon adding and subtracting complex numbers. So to first start off, we'll be talking about the imaginary unit I. So I is just basically written out as just a small variable of I. So in the imaginary unit I, so I is basically defined as where I to the first, so I to the first, I to the first is always gonna equal to the square root of negative one. I to the second is always gonna equal to negative one. So these are just small rules that you guys should remember as it's really helpful for our next activity. So I hope you guys copy this down. And now we'll be learning about how to find the square root of a number. So let's say we have number one can be, what is the square root of negative 25? So in our first example, or in the first part that we learned, the imaginary unit i. So i to the first is the square root of negative one. So we're gonna break this up is equal to i times. So we already had a negative one, sorry, negative 25 out now. So if we're just finding the square root of 25, it's gonna be five. So our final answer is just gonna be five i. Now, our next part, let's say we have negative 36. So again, what's the square root of negative one is i. So we have i and then multiplied by six. So in this case, our final answer is six i. I think you guys have the, got the hang of this. So I think this is a quite simple topic, but now we'll be learning about equality. So what do you guys think what I'm, that I mean by equality? So equality of two complex numbers. So say that I have the equation 2x, 2x minus 7i is equal to 10, plus yi. How would I be solving this? So what I would suggest is that we should actually split up all the equations. So we can just do something like this. So let's make 2x equal to 10 and solve for that. 2, put that to 1. x is equal to 5. So we satisfied the x value. And lastly, now we're, we'll be doing negative seven i is equal to y i. So now just divide i by its side, cancel, cancel, cancel. And therefore, y is gonna equal to negative seven. So that's how we're solving um, for the particular values using our equations. So now I'll be putting up one more example after I erase this. Okay guys, so our next example is x plus 3i is equal to 9 minus yi. So basically let's just do this. So we have x will be corresponding to nine. So therefore, X is gonna equal to nine. So we already have that one. Now we can correspond three I is equal to negative, negative Y I, divide this by I, cancel, cancel, cancel. We get negative Y is equal to three 
and then dividing by negative one. So cancel and cancel that negative one and our answer will be written right here. And now we have y is equal to three. So in this case, we learned just how to solve for particular values when giving a complex number equation. And lastly, what we'll be talking about now is how to add and subtract complex numbers. So now let's just say we have an example of, let's just split this, make one example for subtracting and one example for adding. And now we can have eight minus i. So we have eight minus i plus five plus i, five plus i. So we could just basically take out the parentheses and act as if you we're know, just adding everything up all together. So eight minus i plus five plus i. So we have negative i plus i is gonna equal to zero because they cancel out now. And eight plus five is 13. So our final answer is going to be 13. Now, for our subtracting example, let's say we have seven minus six i. Sorry, let me make this smaller. Seven minus six i minus three minus six i. So how do we solve it? We do the same thing that we did before. We do seven minus six i minus three minus six i. Now we can just subtract seven and three to get four. So we have four. Now we do negative six i minus six i, giving us negative twelve i. So our final answer is going to be four minus twelve i. And now we'll be just doing one more example for each, adding and subtracting complex numbers. So now. Um, I'll be now putting one example for adding complex numbers and I'll ask you guys to solve it. So this equation is four minus five i plus nine plus 10 i. So just I'll meet you back when you guys are done. So just pause the video and I'm back. So this is how we're, we'll be solving this one. So just break up the parentheses. So four minus five i plus nine plus 10 i. And now we can do four plus nine, giving us 13, and a negative five, negative five plus 10 is gonna give us five, so 13 plus five i. Okay. Now, we'll be doing our last example, which is for subtracting complex numbers. So the equation that we're dealing with is five plus 12 i minus three minus i. So let's just break up the equation now and solve it. So we have five plus 12 i, minus three minus i. So five minus three is gonna equal to two. And then 12 i minus i is gonna give us 11 i. So our final answer is two plus 11 i. So thank you guys for watching this video. And in this video, we cover a lot of things. We learned about complex numbers and the imaginary unit i. We learned how to find the square root of negative numbers. We also learned about the equality of two complex numbers. And lastly, operations with complex numbers that's involving adding and subtracting complex numbers. So thank you guys for listening to this video and have a nice day. Bye.